So in the in the previous video, we looked at the control section and how this mirrors the uh, physical sliders and buttons and the low LED screen over there. And I omitted the last tab called user. Now I'm going to come out of the, uh, the sort of graphic version of it. I'm going to go back to the keys. So I'm on user here. Now user, as the name suggests, allows you to set up your favorite functions for the nine sliders and your favorite on off selections for the nine buttons underneath. So how do we actually set that? Well, we use the shift button. So if we press shift and tap user, we now are able under sliders and buttons uh, on the right hand side tabs here uh, to set what we want to set in those sliders and buttons. Just out of interest, if we go to the other tabs hand, it allows you to set the touch, the after touch curve, um, the slider and, and pedals mode, uh, etc. Um, foot allows you to calibrate and set your foot switches and your, your volume curves. Then we've got the one that we're talking about now, sliders and buttons. The bottom one, keyboard set favourite. We'll cover that in a separate video, but that is for you to put your favourite 11 keyboard set libraries for instant access when we swap from category to favourite. But we'll cover that in another video. Let's go back here to sliders and buttons. So we can have a look now. What would our favourite settings be uh, for the sliders? Well, we in number one, they've got mic level. But if you just push the little arrow, you've got the pull down menu. And now look at all the options you've got. Um, you can do master volume, you could do keyboard expression, um, you could do upper one, upper two, upper three volume, lower volume. What you need to do is decide the nine functions you are going to use most and would be most used to you to have for instant access. So you can go through all of those and you can set, maybe you use a microphone. So you want one of these to, to do the volume of the microphone. You can even do the EQ on the microphone. So you could do low, mid and high on three of the sliders. So if you do go out and you're on a gig and you think, oh yeah, yeah, the mic's not quite sounding right. You've actually got instant access to the mic EQ. Somebody may plug a guitar through. You can put the guitar level. You've got line level. You've got the volumes for player one and two. Just decide which is the most useful for you. I can't tell you that. Only you can, can tell yourself that really. So how we do it, we've got our nine positions and literally we just use the pull down menu on each one. Also, give a bit of thought to, I tend to put my most useful ones at this end because the sliders are closest. Um, but again, I'm going to leave that up to you. We can do exactly the same with the buttons here. So again, we just go to button one, pull the menu down and we can see all the different um, functions that we can set basically to a, an on off or it could be um, sound up sound down that will go through the sound list you could do retardando which is a nice slow down at the end of a piece of music so you could you could have that in there and it's worth just making a note of exactly what you've done and over a period you will learn but that's how you set up your user and if I'm honest, if you do spend a little bit of time and get that right, nine cases out of 10, that is the only option you would then need moving forward because basically everything you tend to want will be in that user bank. So you won't be having to flip too much between the other tabs. So that's how we set up user sliders and buttons on the PA5X.